or progress. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I will not bore you down too much with a lot of speeches. A lot of all of these problems that are confronting this nation today were bedeviling my state, Kogi State, as at the time I assumed office on 27th of January 2016. Insecurity, disunity, lack of progress and prosperity. Six years down the line, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, insecurity is fast, fast becoming a history in Kogi State. In Kogi State, unity of all of the tribes and religion is what we are enjoying in Kogi State. In Kogi State, there is religious tolerance. In fact, I am the first Muslim Northern governor that built a chapel for our Christian brothers in government house. After 28 years of existence of Kogi State, that is religious tolerance. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, today we have a lot of our students from various tertiary institutions at home, they are not in the school. Their future is being toyed with. When I assumed office in Kogi State, six years down the line, no strike of any sort are existing in Kogi State. Today in Kogi State, every student will be assured they are very sure that the very day they go into the school, they are graduated. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, these and various problems that are bedeviling Nigeria today, we inherited them in Kogi State. With little resources, we have been able to put them behind us. Therefore, I am here running to become the president and commander-in-chief of the armed forces of the Federal Republic of Nigeria to provide leadership, to provide sincere leadership, purposeful leadership for this dear country. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we might be playing politics today, but let's think of the future of this country. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, we are the future of this nation. The younger generation and the youth of Nigeria that are gathered here today and those that are watching us from their homes from across the country and all over the world. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, all other nations of this world that prosper, taken from Bill Clinton, Macron, and host of them, they are doing, some of them did greatly, in fact, all of them did greatly, and those that are in position today are doing greatly. Give us this opportunity, support me, Please, when you are casting your vote, think of the roads you ply before you get to this point. Think of those that were coldly murdered, who in their sleep, in their businesses, on the road. Think of those that are tr troubled today. Women, youths, and people living with special needs today in Kogi State are part of those that have formed my government and these are the young people and women that are doing very well. Let me use this opportunity to commend those that have stand very fast and firm in making sure that they stand for their generation, for their people. First among them here is distinguished Senator Binani, who is now the governorship aspirant or candidate of Adamawa State. That is resilience. She faced a lot of stress, a lot of suppression and oppression. That is exactly what the younger generation are facing today. President Muhammad Buhari, I doff my heart for you. I salute you. You thought of the future of this country, and you graciously signed not too young to run bill into law. We didn't come this far to chicken out. We are here to win. According to my brothers, Anche Bamufaraba Dumidenaba.
بإذن الله تعالى وأنن زابن زامو تشيشي كافن كتنك قريان كو دا أن لدى النبي فتنا دا متا نمو متا سا دا ماتا وأندا سكي تكين جدن سو أنك كشي سو وأندا سكي تلا وأندا سكي كازوان جن سو أكو دوك نجيريا أنك وقو ناسو أنك كشي سو حريان زو با إما جنابا ني بإذن الله تعالى إدنكو كباني وندن دامن بإذن الله تعالى Nigeria Zat Chanza. I am here to build on the legacies of President Muhammad Buhari, and by the grace of God, we are here to make a history, and this is the time for you to become part of that history. And I am very confident that after a clean, clear, transparent electoral process today, then I shall become victorious and I shall be the flag bearer of all progressive Congress who will go ahead to defeat PDP, to defeat Atiku. I am that candidate that will do that. And how did I do that in Kogi State? I inherited a PDP state when I assumed office. And today, Kogi State has become 100% PAPC. And by the grace of God, it shall never go back to a PDP again. So please, let us not make that mistake. Because we have the numbers. Youths, women, and people living with disabilities are those that vote. We have the numbers. Just a few weeks back, we tested a mic. Simultaneously, over 16 million Nigerians came out to give me support across this country. Women, people living with disabilities, came out to give me the support. I have the ability to win the election, the general election, on or before 2 p.m. by the special grace of God. I thank you so much for this wonderful opportunity that you are giving to me. Ibo Kwenu! Ibo Kwenu! Ama Odulu Amoki Iyo! Ama Odulu Amoki Iyo! Jamaa Amuda Allada Anabi Kafunku Dafa Kuriyanku Kutina da Allah, kutina da masa in the muke chiki yangu, kutina da masa Allah in the muke chiki, kutina da kwa kani ndo baba yai wazezo yagi na akai, ni nazo zo na gina akai, ena ruo angu da Allah kudafa mu kuri yangu, Allah ya sabu na albarka, Allah ya bamu albarka, Allah ya bamu alheri, Allah ya bamu nasara. I thank you so much. A P C, A P C, A P C. Nigeria, say I have been losing.